In this video, I'm going to show you how to display or hide Jupyter X default post meta in post, portfolio, products, and archive pages. Post meta is additional information that you see on post or pages, such as featured image, title, date, author, categories, and stuff like that. You'll see these elements generally on portfolio pages, product pages, or archives. And in Jupyter X, you have the option to decide which ones you want to show and how they look. To do that, let's go to the Jupyter X customizer. From the WordPress dashboard, go to Jupyter X Customize. And let's start with customizing our blog pages. Click on Blog, then Blog Single. A new window will show up with the blog single settings. In the display elements, decide which elements you want to either show or hide by clicking the box next to its name. The blue boxes will be displayed. In order to change their styles, go to the Styles tab and click Customize on the element you want to design, like this. Then close the settings and publish the changes to make it live. To customize the post meta for single portfolio post, you'll need to click on Portfolio, then Portfolio Single, and then follow all the same instructions as before. The same goes for your product pages. To adjust the page that shows your individual products, you'll need to click on Shop, Product Page. And for the page that displays all of your products, click on Shop, Product List. Once you're completely satisfied with all the changes, click Publish to save the settings. In addition to the customizer, you do have the option to edit some post meta on specific pages by going to the page in Elementor. Let's do that now. I'm going to the News page, which has my blog list I added with the Raven post element. As I select that element now and go to the Edit Post dashboard, notice my source is set to Blog but it can be Portfolio. Now click on Settings to show or hide your post meta. To customize the look, go to the Style tab and open each section. You do have the option to also edit your single post page. However, Elementor Pro is required for that. Hopefully this video helped. Thanks for watching. Cheers.